Welcome back everybody. The goal of this video is to help you guys get everything we got so far into a Git repository. So you're probably thinking, what the heck is Git? Well, many of you probably already know this, but Git is a source control manager, or there's a couple different names for them, but essentially it's a repository for you to store your code in, and it's super, super helpful to keep organized on projects. So as this gets more complex, I just wanna make sure that everything we need is organized and structured. So what we're going to do is go to git-scm.com, download the latest version. I'm going to use the version I already got, but almost everything is going to be identical, so it should be fine. And then what you need to do is you need to open a uh, folder <laughs> and find the project that you're working on. So the location of my solution is in Documents Visual Studio 15 Project CTVM2 App. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up git. So from your start menu, you can just put git, open up git bash, and just travel to this location. This, you want to get the directory on here the same as the folder. So you can use the cd command, change directory. And I just like to do it one step at a time. So first, I always go cd tilde, which gets me my home directory, which is obviously where I started. But just in case you guys need to be on the same page as me. Uh, documents CD and then quote this one because there's uh, spaces perfect so we are in the directory and then what you can do is type git status and you can see it's not a git repository or any of the parent directories so there's nothing git here so what we need to do is type git init which is in, which is uh, the command to initialize a repository initializing empty git repository in that folder so now, if you guys have it to where you can see hidden files, you will see a .git inside of the folder. So if you're wondering how to view hidden files, up in your uh, file explorer, click view, and then check hidden files. And that should do it. The next thing you need to do is get a git ignore file. So git ignore file essentially tells git what files you do not want to put into the repository. Because certain files you don't need to put in there. So the easiest way to do that is go to a web browser and just search git ignore for Visual Studio. And the first one should be perfect. What you're gonna wanna do is just copy this entire file and then go back to your folders, right click and create a new text document. And you can just name it git ignore. Keep it as text, that's fine. Open it up paste it and save it, uh, uh, you can go file save or control s, whatever. And then once it's already done, you can go over here, delete the ending and put a dot at the beginning. Oh, okay. So I guess that's not gonna work. So the other way you can do it is type mv and then put the name of the file, git ignore.txt. And we're gonna rename that to dot git ignore. Perfect. So hopefully you guys got all that and you should be up to speed. Now what? Uh, you can go back into this and say git status. That's going to list every single thing in here. If you want a good tool like a graphical user interface tool to look at all this, I would suggest source tree. So when you download an open source tree, it's going to look something like this, probably with more stuff on it. But then you click clone slash new add a working copy because we already have the git repository we don't need to clone one from somewhere else next thing you want to do is select the folder uh, you can just copy the address from here paste that here which will get you to it click select folder this is a git repository make sure it says that click add that'll open it up and it's a lot easier just to kind of see all the files that are going to be put into the repository. Once you got all that done, <laughs> hopefully you didn't make any mistakes, all you gotta do is say a commit message. So initial commit. And then just kind of give a description of what you got. Perfect. So why can't I click commit? Well with Git, you have something known as a staging area. It's the files you want to put into the repository. So these files are all unstaged. Meaning we're saying, hey, even though the git ignore says these files are okay, we still don't want them in there. 
But that's not what we want though. So what we need to do is we need to put them all into the staging area. Now you can see it's labeled as we added all of these different files. That's exactly what we want. Now the commit button is ready to be pressed and I'm gonna press it. Sweet. So now if we go back to our bash, and by the way, an easy way to open this is just click this terminal button right here. You can say get status and nothing to commit, working directory clean. If you wanna see the history of your commits, you can say git log. You can see that's our initial commit. Perfect. You can also see it on source tree using this log slash history button. You can see all of your commits right here and the files that were added into them. So I know that was a lot of content and it was kind of unrelated, but this is something that's very super practical. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys do this and get all of your code into some kind of source control management system. Git is the one I use, it's the one I like, so that's what I'll be using for this. And as we make some crazy changes, I'll just make a quick git commit. That way if I screw everything up, I can just revert back in time and have everything back to how it was. So hopefully that's helpful guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.